The behead monadic verb. It's a monadic verb with infinite rank that removes the leading item of its argument. But what exactly does this mean? Well, monadic verbs have one argument. That's what makes them monadic. Infinite rank verbs look at the whole of that argument, and behead returns a list with the leading item of the argument removed. Let's take a look at some examples. So let's begin with the rank 3 array. In this case, we have the shape 224, and it's made up of two items, both of which are 2 by 4 tables. So behead's going to take off that first item, and we're going to go from a shape of 224 to 124. And that's the result that behead's going to give us. Moving on to a rank 2 array, and in this case it's a literal array, we have the shape 34, and it's made up of three items, which are rows of four. Behead's going to strip off that first item, going go from 3-4 to 2-4, and that's the result we're going to get. Now looking at atoms, it's a bit of a different situation, because with atoms we have only one item, and that's the atom itself. So stripping off that first item, and we know behead is going to give us a list every time, stripping off the first item is going to end up with a shape of zero. That's going to be an empty result, but the shape of it will be zero. Now let's take a look at how behead deals with empty arrays. Here we have shape to zero. There are two items and behead is just going to remove the first item just the same way it normally does. So it's going to go from shape 20 to shape 10 and that's the result we're going to get from behead. In this second case it's a little bit different. The shape is 0, 02 and there are no items. Since behead's job is to take off that first item and there are no items to take off, behead does nothing at all. So if there are no items, behead just returns the same thing that it's given. The behead monadic verb, a monadic verb with infinite rank that returns a list with a leading item of its argument removed. Hopefully, after seeing some of these examples, that definition may make a bit more sense to you.